AMFA, the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association. We've set our constitution up so it's democratic. They were interested in us. They weren't just interested in our money, like other unions that we've had on the property. The uniqueness of this union is obviously anybody can become a regional director or the national director. That's one of our innovative modes we had, was we had transparency. The members really drive this association. It's a union that is for and by and ruled by aircraft mechanics. Uh, why would you want to be part of a union that's a, a baker, uh, a truck driver, a grape picker? I mean, it, it just all clicked, you know, about having a craft union that's, that's looking out for our interests as opposed to everybody's interests. The top guy is an aircraft mechanic, the second guy is an aircraft mechanic. From top to bottom, they are all AMTs, aviation maintenance technicians. We hold lives in our hands. And you'll see that on our emblem, knowledge, skill, integrity. That's our motto. AMFA, the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association. The Brotherhood of Aircraft Mechanics runs deep. AMFA was the first union established to represent a specific craft, licensed mechanics of the airline industry. There's no one fight for the mechanic on the floor, unless he has his own union. Why should we have negotiators from the subways and, and railroads and, 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 and truckers? Why would we have aircraft mechanics at the negotiating table? And that's how it started. We had a lot of confidence and there was no transparency at negotiations. And we changed that. We got legal counsel from Seaham, Seaham, Melson, Peterson that really helped us from the beginning till to this day. That's why we got better contracts. Del Femini and my father worked very well together because they were both, uh, they both had ideals and they lived their lives in terms of implementing real democratic principles and ideals. We've set our constitution up so it's democratic, that the members have control. They have accountability of their local officers and their national officers. There are no appointed positions. All the officers in AMFA are elected and accountable to the members. They can also be recalled by the members if the members aren't satisfied with the representation they're getting. The work that AMFA does every day is to benefit the men and women on the line whose work assures safety in the air. Our members are highly trained, licensed specialists. We're responsible for the aircraft. We're held, held liable for all the work that we do. You know, we can be fined or uh, have our licenses suspended by the FAA for our actions or lack of actions. AMFA members also maintain local control over finances and other key parts of the decision-making process of their union. In AMFA it's unique that the locals keep half of the dues income that come into the association each month. So the locals are very strong and sound and they play a very big role in the contract enforcement and representing the members at the local level. In fact, when you compare AMFA and the, the resources that we have per member, versus what some of the large industrial unions have per member, we far exceed a per member resource than the larger industrial unions. There is a thing called autonomy that each local has, local autonomy. They elect their own people, they uh, voice their own opinions, and you can go from being just a member, like I said, to the national director. We can focus just on the mechanic group one of the, the common practices in the past with the industrial unions when they would negotiate would be, well, everybody's going to get the same percent raise, regardless of what work you do. The airline industry and unions have been impacted in recent years by decisions coming out of Washington, D.C. AMFA's National Executive Council maintains a strong presence with legislators and is represented on Capitol Hill on a daily basis by our lobbyist, Paul Kanitra. 
we're the only voice out there. When we go meet with the Transportation Committee or we meet with the Aviation Subcommittee and we, we meet with these staffers uh, and we brought AMFA in and we met with the heads of the FAA, we met with the, the, the chairman of the Transportation Committee on the House side, Chairman Micah. Um, they never ever reference anybody else coming in and talking about these issues. We've had a pretty good reception so far. When I'm walking through the halls of Congress and I, and I run into certain members, they ask me, they go, how are my aircraft mechanics doing? And, and, and that goes a long way. AMFA continues to negotiate industry-leading contracts for our members and assuring our members that in times of industry consolidation, seniority is respected and honored. Basically, seniority is everything to a mechanic. If you lose a day of seniority, you could actually get bumped from a day shift job to a graveyard shift job, and it affects your family, it affects your life. One of the greatest issues facing our industry today is the outsourcing of work. Jobs are leaving the property, and in many cases, going overseas. It is a practice that AMFA continues to fight, both for our members and for the safety of the flying public. To fight the outsourcing of jobs, we've had to go in negotiate contractual language that puts some limits or restrictions on the amount of outsourcing that can be done. We're trying to even the playing field a little bit between you know, licensed AMFA mechanics and outsourcing facilities in, in foreign countries and even facilities inside the U.S. where they're insourcing workers and trying to show the difference that you know, having licensed people work on an aircraft rather than having one licensed guy supervised 50 to 100 unlicensed people, that there's a big difference in that. The issue of outsourcing is a serious threat to our industry. It's an industry that we're proud to be a part of. We're proud to be aircraft mechanics, a brotherhood whose knowledge, skill, and integrity assure the fact that safety in the air begins with quality maintenance on the ground. Most of my proudest moments as an attorney are connected with, with AMFA in one way or, or another. When AMFA has asked us to, we've actually gone and represent aircraft mechanics and other technicians at carriers that AMFA does not even represent. Uh, there, was, there was an IAM shop steward who was going to be disciplined for reporting cracks and fuselages on 737s, and AMFA said, we'd like, even though he is the shop steward of, an, of a rival union, we want you to go and represent him. We filed a whistleblower action. The, the, the discipline had to be expunged. And that was because AMFA cares about safety and integrity, not just for its dues-paying members, but for the craft in general. AMFA, the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association. We are Aircraft Mechanics.